Which now then it's the hidden danger that could be lurking somewhere in your street. Hundreds of convicted sex offenders around the country are currently missing, with authorities having no idea of their whereabouts. Offenders are supposed to be monitored on release from prison, but figures out this morning show that police and probation officers have lost contact with 396 of them, some for more than a decade. 39 are missing in the West Midlands region. Uh, there is 167 in London alone, and 25 are being sought by Greater Manchester Police. Well, Essex and Sussex Police each said 11 were missing in their area. 10 are wanted in Cambridgeshire, three in Northern Ireland. Well, we're joined now by Donald Finlater uh, from the Lucy Faithful Foundation, a charity dedicated to tackling child sex abuse. Uh, on the, on the face of it, these look like very alarming statistics, uh, Donald. What's your reaction to them? Look, I think they're concerning. Um, I don't think they're alarming. I, uh, back in 1997, we didn't have a sex offender register. People couldn't be registered, however many thousands there were. And we need to remember, put the 396 in the context of a register that numbers 46,000. So 99% of registered sex offenders are where they're supposed to be. It's concerning that, that 396 are missing, but then, you know, I think we need to keep that risk in proportion. What we do know, though, is that, that of the people on the sex offenders register, one in ten will go on to re-offend. So of this 396, you say we don't need to be alarmed, it's concerning, but there is a number there that could well be re-offending uh, re and could go on to re-offend. So for the people around the country who experience that, it is going to be alarming. Look, I, I'm not going to say the problem, that there is not a problem here, but... Uh, speaking as a parent and a grandparent, th there is a role for the police and probation to play with known registered sex offenders. And if they're missing, then they can't play that role, of course. But there's a far bigger role for parents and carers to play in keeping their children safe. So we mustn't abdicate responsibility and presume the job of keeping children safe is a job entirely for police and probation. They have a role. I have a far, far bigger role. And we must also remember that most, sex effect, most children who are sexually abused are abused by people they know and they know well, not by random strangers lurking in a street somewhere, yeah. but by people within their close family. That's where the biggest scale of problem is in the UK. But these sex offenders are supposed to be tracked for a reason, because That's... they you know, potentially could re-offend or they might pose a risk. How do almost 400 of them go missing? Is there something wrong with the system of monitoring that they can just um, escape that system? Well, I think, I mean, each individual circumstance will have its own explanation. Mm. People typically, I think rather than large proportion of this 396 missing, are foreign nationals released from prison. Likely, in fact, the intelligence from the police, I think, would indicate the vast majority of them have gone abroad. So, and once they've gone abroad, they're not missing, they're not missing, they're not in the streets of the UK. That doesn't mean the country where they've gone back to necessarily is comfortable about that.